Hello and welcome. My name is Keith Barker and I'm adding some firewalls, some little 48 firewalls from Fortinet into my rack. And I bought a rack mounting kit for this specific model. And what I'd like to do is show you the one I got and then walk you through using it to add this firewall to my 19 inch rack behind me. So here's the Amazon page for it. I just bought it a couple days ago. And I also want to make sure that it was set up for a 60F. That's the model I have. So it also supports these other models, which are the same physical size. And they also have some stickers, if it's those other models, that you can put on the front to make sure the ports all match up with exactly what they are on those models. But for me, the 60F, it was perfect. Meaning the labels up here all match the actual port numbers on the back of the 48. And this is not a sponsored video by anybody. I just thought it'd be handy for people interested in this product to have access to this video and that way they can get a look and feel of the product before they buy it. So as far as pictures go, here's the 40 gate you'd place in this rack. So the 40 gate, of course, is not included. It's just the actual rack mounting kit with the cables and the tie wraps and everything else to go ahead and put your 40 gate into this rack mounting system. All right, so next let's open the box. So here is the 40 gate firewall. Again, that's not included as part of the rack mounting kit. There's a screwdriver. Here's a little snipper if we need that. And here is the rack mounting kit. So we'll go ahead and open it up. And I'm gonna set the firewall off to the side just for a moment. So we'll go ahead and open the box. And voila, so we have a bag of cables and also looks like there's another bag inside of it with some tie wraps and also a couple of screws. So we'll set that to the side and let's remove the actual rack mounting kit itself. And here it is. All right, so we no longer need the cardboard. So I'll move that out of the way. There we go. So let me give you a view of the front here. So after it's in the rack, all these ports are available. So on this Forti gate, it has ports 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A and B for the Forti link, and it has a DMZ interface and two WAN interfaces. There's also a port here for USB, and there's also a console port right here. So once it's in the rack, you can just connect directly to it here on the front, and it'll have all the connections behind here to the Forti gate, so it'll be easier to work with. All right, so the first question I have is how good of a fit is this device for the actual firewall, the 60F. So here is the 40 gate. And the way it's installed, it's installed like this. So the ports here go towards the back of the rack mounting kit. And, oh my gosh, it fits like a glove. I love that. There's actually no room in there for movement. Fantastic. And also if we look at the side here, it's got open space so it can vent out for the dissipation of heat. And on the other side, very similar thing. And then if we flip it upside down and hold it in place so it doesn't come out, it also has openings for all the ventilation here as well, which is fantastic. So there's two holes right here for little screws that we can screw in to keep it in place. And I believe those come with the kit. So let me open up this bag. And then in this bag, there's another bag. And in this bag, there's some tie wraps and there's also two little screws. So I'm gonna take those two screws out and set the cables to the side. And then let's see if we can line this up and get those screws in. So I've got the screws and before I actually try it, I'm gonna make sure that the bit on my screwdriver is gonna work with this screw and that is too big. So let me go ahead and flip it over and use the smaller side and test that. And that is gonna be a good fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up those holes here with the FortiGate and this rack mounting kit to put those screws in place. So I'll go ahead and put the first one in place here with my fingers and then very gently with the screwdriver, go ahead and screw that in. All right, and that is done. So it only needs to be there to kind of hold it in place. Uh, the casing really holds it well anyway. So the screw is really just to make sure it doesn't move. And so we don't need to really drill down on it too hard because we don't want to damage anything. Let me do the second one here. All right, so those are both in place, making sure that the FortiGate doesn't slide around inside of this rack mount kit. So there's a QR code that you can scan right here that has instructions on how to put it together, but it's pretty straightforward. You simply attach the cables here and then plug them into their corresponding port over here. And so everything here is CAT6 rated. They all say CAT6 on them, including the cables. So let's go ahead and open up the cables. So this is a USB cable that's used to extend the USB port here from the firewall up to the USB port here in the rack mount kit. So we'll set that aside for a moment. So here are all the cables. So these cables are gonna connect the back of the 48 here over to the ports here, and they are all twisty tied. So I'm gonna use a little snipper and just snip off the twisty ties. And the final one's right here, so snippity snip, <laughs> snippity snip, and it's done. So we've got all these cables ready to go. So let's go ahead and cross connect them from the ports on the back of the 40 gate over to the corresponding port here in the rack mount kit. So here we have power, the USB port, the console port, WAN 2, WAN 1, DMZ, ports B and A for Ford Link, and then five Ethernet ports. So I'm going to start with WAN 2 right here and just work my way across. So we'll take a cable, 
plug it in. And with that cable plugged in, we'll now plug it into the corresponding port here on the rack mount kit. And just to be sure which one that is, if we lift this up, it's this bad boy right here on the far right. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. Oh, you know what I want to do before, <laughs> before I plug those in? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's strap in the actual transformer, the power supply, and then we can put the cables around it. So I've got that power supply. It is right here. And I'm also going to go ahead and label that FGT 60F. And if worse came to worse, I could look at the backside, get a magnifying glass and look at the details there regarding the voltage and the current and so forth. But I find that if you label it for what it is, that way later, if it gets separated from that device, it's easier to match them up. So we're going to take this transformer and go ahead and strap it in right here. So let me get a couple tie wraps and let's put it in. So those tie wraps are in this bag right here, the same bag where the little two screws were. So we'll go ahead and open this up and take out the tie wraps. So let me move this over here. And I'm going to take a couple of these tie wraps and just feed them in. So I'm going to put one right there and feed it in to the bottom right there. Fantastic. Pull that through and I'll repeat that for the other tie wrap. And then we'll go ahead and set the transformer right here. Make sure, that, make sure you have this end where you plug in the actual power cable. Make sure you have that facing out so it's easy to access. And then we'll go ahead and tighten it down. And I'm just going to clip off the excess with my little clipper right there. All right, so for the cable, I'm just going to go ahead and take the cable and wrap it up. I want to make sure I leave enough so I have enough reach so I can plug it in. That looks okay. And I'm going to put a tie wrap right here to go ahead and tie this down as well to the rack mount kit. So once again, I'll feed in a tie wrap and I'll feed it out the other side. So I'm just going to put it through the middle here and tighten it down. And that way I'll just keep it from moving. So we'll tighten that down, cut off the excess just like that. And then while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in right there to the 40 gate. All right, transformer attached to the rack mount kit. Next, let's take care of the cables. So let's go ahead and start uh, this end going over. I'm going to do the console port last. I'm going to start with WAN2 and plug that in here and plug it over here to the corresponding port in the rack mount kit. So it's WAN2 over here going to WAN2 over here. I'm going to repeat that process for all the other ports. So there's WAN1. We'll plug that into WAN1, and then we'll go ahead and use the DMZ interface, and then the A and B ports for a forward link, and bring that over. And I'm also going to go ahead and spot check to make sure that that really is the B port <laughs> for forward link. And sure enough, that is the B port right there. So we'll plug in port A on the forward link, and then the next one is going to be port 5. So we'll plug that in. Then we have port 4, just like that. And then port 3, and then port 2, and then internal 1, which goes to port number one. So it's labeled port number one, but it's called internal one on the actual forty gate itself. So the other port we also have is the console port right here. So I'm going to take the console port, plug this cable into it. Now, even though this is just an ethernet cable, it's just a straight through cable. So it's going to be a great extension for the console port as well. Then I drag it around and plug it in to the actual console port. So it has an RJ45 connector there. And then I, <laughs> I should have done this one first, but I didn't. Uh, this is the USB extender. So let me go ahead and plug in the USB cable extender to the USB port. And then I'll take the other end and I'll plug it in right here to the USB port on the 40 gate. So I'll plug that in as well. And boom, we are set. So let me go ahead and set it down here. So we now have this 40 gate model 60F in this rack mount kit. So we can take this rack mount kit and then put this in a standard 19 inch rack and all of our connections are now available, including the console port, the USB connector, and all of these ethernet ports as well. So for the actual installation into the 19 inch rack, you'd use these two holes here and these two holes here and the appropriate hardware on the rack to go ahead and put it in place. And now for the verdict. This rack mounted kit is fantastic. Everything fit. <laughs> it was easy to put together. It took just a few minutes. Would I buy it again? The answer is yeah. <laughs> so thanks for joining me for this box opening and implementation of this 19 inch rack kit for a model 60F 40 gate firewall from Fortinet. And I'll see you in another video at some other time. Until then, take care.